some disappointed couples that didn't make the final that are used to being in this kind of field. I you know uh, Lado and Zenya didn't make it, and a couple of others that would have felt justified to have a place. Absolutely. I have a feeling that Lado and Zenya would have made this yes. final had this other new couple not been there. Not been there. Well, motivation right, to work harder. That's right. But that's one of the things that we say about the world of competitive ball and dancing, that you never know who's going to be there on the night, and that's what really counts. And here we go with the cha-cha in the final of the rhythm. We have our six finalists now. And notice how Donna and Yuki have changed their costumes to a very casual look. She's still sporting feathers, but now she's gone to a lilac color and the white feathers. Wow. Yeah. And uh, also Shane and Shannon Jensen changed into a white and lilac and seems to be the color of the night. Yeah. Paramanoff changed into a black and white. Yeah, down the other end of the floor. She's got a two-piece on. I feel like I haven't seen that on Natalie. I can't even remember if I've seen her in a two-piece before. I don't know how they get no, way to mix it up, and boy, does she have the physique to pull it off, and the body action to deserve showing off that core. I remember when uh, Donis and you first started dancing together, and I love Donis's look because he had that jacket. Had that jacket. So, it was so close. Right. Man, I loved it. Now he's got the braces look and the open evening shirt, also kind of club look, so he keeps it real. I know that Donna's loved dancing in the jacket, but particularly loves the freedom of the shirt and the suspenders. He shows up his body action more that way. While still kind of being true to the style with that authentic club look. Donna and Yuki are dancing great in the final. They had a couple of little misconnections earlier in the early rounds that looked like they really pulled it together in the final tonight. Looks like the Nikishkin set, Elena Nikishkin changed as well. Yeah. Got a different color round. And that was the rhythm finalist back to the floor. Now their next dance is Roomba. All right, competitors, your second dance, Roomba. Starting off looking at Ryan and Danelle, our newlyweds, if anyone should be able to do a rumba well. Little dance of romance and flirtation. I love that they opened with a very, very basic half of a box to show what the dance is right away. Yeah, and beautiful swivel walks there. Inside turn, over turn into a nice, nice leg line. And then they go into their open choreo. Oh, beautiful abstract, wow. lovely speed change. Hey, does that count as a lift? Uh, if it's, so. if it's not in the air for two beats, it's not a lift. Ah, thanks for clarifying that, Tony. That's statistic number 99. <laughs> you get credit for that, too. Beautiful box step again. Gorgeous leg action. Oh. And there we have Andre and Natalie. Has everybody come back fitter? There's certainly, you, there's certainly these American rhythm couples have. Everyone has come back more fit, more focused, and reinvented. There's so much new choreography, so much new costuming. Oh, breathtaking. These guys are just knocking it out of the park tonight. This is dance redesigned, honestly. Right. This whole event has been that way. Right. You know, I think that's, that's a really important thing. How can you have a 15-month hiatus and then come back as you were? Right. So... I think that the couples have all been very, very smart in helping Look at the way Andre presents his lady. <laughs> Being fitter, having a new look, new choreography. Yeah, because he's got a new look as well with the goatee and the little FOMO there going on, a little bit darker with the hair. It's great. It's Absolutely. fun seeing this, the rebooted version of everybody. Not if you saw my flight for <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it. That's it. So much information for the folks at home. Swing. Here we go. Our rhythm couple's back. The swing. Here we go. Oh. 
I feel like Donna and Yuki are really using the music. She makes her chicken watch really synchronized with the beat of the drums, and the, this kind of a, a retro rock and roll song is just perfect for their style. And now we have the new Kiss Pins, couple 260. Right next to each other. This is a great time for the judges to contrast the two couples in their different styles. I feel like Donna is very playful with the music and really loves that old school feel of the swing. The Nikishkins are more power couple. Right. A lot of turns, a lot of spins. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Very nice but they did a little playful too. I just saw it. She slapped him on the bait too. <laughs> yeah, she did. I love that move where he's behind the bed. That's a diva walk. <laughs> exactly. If we're going retro, we got to bring back the 70s. Yeah. Wow, every time the camera goes to Ryan and Danelle, they just keep looking so strong, don't they? They're, so, they're having a great night. I think when they say get busy, this is what they mean. I mean, they really want to make it look great, and this is what busy should be. A lot of, a lot of action with good focus. They're really, I feel like, you know how some couples, it takes them a little while to transition from rising star to open, and then others, you know, they find their way quickly. I feel like Ryan and Snell kind of have that little, along the journey, transition from uh, rising star to mm -hmm. open, but nice range. We have our rhythm couples coming back now. See, I can deal with this. Foxtrot to Bolero. That feels like All a right, nice segue. Is. I can handle this. Well, okay. You do call the Bolero the rhythm of Foxtrot. Ah, uh, that's why I'm not struggling. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> this will be interesting to watch uh, Kevin as he and his partner dance the Bolero. All right, because they're so high energy. And now here, this is about... Yeah, Malagro, she's dancing beautifully. Gosh, look at that gorgeous line. Yeah, but I must admit, as a judge, knowing how good they are in those faster dances and the body rhythm action, I'd be really curious to see what they can produce in the bolero. And oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that line. That is, shows incredible strength and balance. See what I mean, guys? These guys could add the future of the style, I'm telling you. They're the whole package. Love I, I agree. And now we have the Jensen's. I always love their bolero. Yeah. Very I, strong dance for them. Yeah. Shane really takes advantage of his gymnastic ability by doing a lot of one-footed work that just stands out in the Bolero. Look, well, yeah. and I feel like all of their work with theater arts and the cabaret, they just have beautiful, seamless transitions and tricks and so much emotion. Look at that. And you're going to see that in just a few minutes. They're going to have to transition in just minutes to come on the floor for the cabaret. I don't know how they do that and how they dance three rounds in this really challenging style that takes so much energy and then go out on the floor and do what, you know, they have so many tricks and so many high dynamic lifts in their cabaret number. I, uh, they, it, they're obviously incredibly fit, we know that. Uh, they, they really have, they have amped up the game in, in the cabaret because of the things that they do. Yeah. All right, competitors, on your places, your final dance, Mambo. Here's the make or break. And look, here it comes with the Mondo. He goes down to his knees. Yeah. Oh, great moves. Give me that Cuban nightclub feel. And look at how confident he is in his facial expressions. Uh, He's real. really in his element. Fantastic. Andre and Natalie. Finishing strong. Watching them. 
One of the best dynamics about Joe Mondo, about Andre Mondo's Mondo, is how they change altitude. They have moves that go way up high and then way down low. Donald Kevin, you want to play time there? <laughs> And that's that. Wow. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the final rounds of our professional international ballroom and our professional American rhythm division. What a fabulous final. Spectacular. It has truly been a storybook final. It really has, Tony. I agree with you. We have seen them at their best. They've worked so hard during this downtime, if you want to call it that. It's not been a downtime to them. They've worked hard on their physiques. They've worked hard on their craft. And they got a chance to come out in front of this great crowd in this wonderful venue and show off.